Alkaptonuria is an autosome recessive disease in which there is a defect in one of the enzymes involved in the metabolic pathways of phenylalanine and tyrosine. So normally within our liver, the cells break down phenylalanine into tyrosine or they use phenylalanine to form tyrosine via this pathway. So the enzyme that catalyzes this step is phenylalanine hydroxylase. It uses a cofactor tetrahydrobiopterin to basically form tyrosine. And once we form tyrosine, it then reacts by the activity of tyrosine aminotransferase to form p-hydroxyphenylpyruvate. This intermediate is then transformed into homogentasate by the activity of the enzyme p-hydroxyphenylpyruvate dioxygenase. And then this molecule continues via these series of steps to ultimately form acetoacetate and fumarate. Now, in our liver, this molecule can be used to form ketone bodies, while fumarate can be used to form glucose. And both ketone bodies and glucose molecules can be used by the cells of our body to generate high-energy molecules. Now, in a person who has alkaptonuria, they basically have genes that are defective. So the genes that code for this enzyme, homogentasate 1,2-dioxygenase, essentially code for a defective enzyme. And so this enzyme's activity isn't high or the enzyme doesn't have any activity at all. And so the homogentasate cannot be transformed into 4-malleal acetoacetate. And this will ultimately not be transformed into these two molecules. And so because of that, we're going to see that homogentasate will accumulate in our cells, in our tissues, in our blood. Ultimately, the kidneys will be able to excrete this via the urine. And when the homogentasate will be found in the urine and exposed to air, it will begin to polymerize. And that polymer product will basically cause a color change of the urine. So the urine will turn black. And that's one clinical manifestation of individuals who have alkaptonuria. Now, luckily, this condition is relatively benign, and most individuals with this condition don't actually get diagnosed until later on in their lives. So ultimately, what this can cause is problems with our joints, problems with our bone, it can cause kidney stones, it can also create problems with our heart valves. So, to summarize, alkaptonuria is an autosomal recessive disease in which we have a defective enzyme, namely homogentasate 1,2-dioxygenase, and this enzyme is found in the pathway, in the metabolic pathway of phenylalanine and tyrosine. So, we essentially can break down these two amino acids into homogentasate, but then homogentasate will not be able to be broken down into these two intermediate intermediates here. And so what that means is we're going to accumulate this molecule within our body that will begin to appear in our urine causing a color change of the urine to black and ultimately over time that accumulation within our tissues can lead to heart valve problems, joint problems, as well as kidney stones.